I want to show the world what I'm made of. I want to be part of the best and be able to call myself um, maybe not a legendary player, but a player that people, oh my God, I know that guy. Welcome everybody to DreamHack Summer here in Jönköping, Sweden, the first of six offline events where we will be looking for teammates for our professional esports superstars. Hopefully we can turn these amateurs into aspiring megastars. It will make some and break others. To actually play for Sweden, that would be the world to me. Have you followed Michael Ailey before fighting yeah, his career? I, well, I know every team he played in, I know every Cisco player and everything. I'm gonna win against the Michael and I'm gonna be the best. He's a really big and famous player and he's hot. My expectations is uh, actually pretty high. Uh, I think it's going to be super fun and I'm going to try to pick the best players that I can to represent Sweden so we can win the tournament together. At DreamHack and at LAN tournaments overall, it's much easier to see their true potential. Online they're more comfortable, they're at home, you know, everything feels more safe. I mean, if they're playing good on tournaments from the beginning, then they will only grow as a player. Well, you're playing against Michael, just so strange feeling because he's such a good person. I don't know what you need to say or what to do if you play against him. Just let it be, let it go. Michael's challenge against the amateurs has begun. He's clearly very confident. He's pushing up very, very far. Look at and he's completely destroyed his opponent there with an amazing flank. And there we have it. We thank our Ukrainian contestant. Michael Lele, of course, won. Well, he is one of the best players in the world. It was fun to know that you can beat a pro with two rounds. That's one of my biggest dreams, to be a pro player. Oh, and there we go, 5-3. Lawsy finding some momentum now. Michael is looking for those headshots. Oh, and there we go, 5-4 to, to Lolzy. It's going down to the wire here. Oh, come on, Lolzy. Come on, mate. Show Michael what you're made of. Oh, there we go, 6-4 to Michael. A good showing, though, by Lolzy, nonetheless. I got a really bad start. I felt like I didn't have a warm-up, so I think if I just had a warm-up, I would do it. Do you think there's still a chance that you could get picked? Well, you should always have hope. You never know, but um, hopefully. I have played with pros before, so I know how they think. They think of us as a weak target. They think we will just stand there waiting for them, so they can just quick pick us and kill us, basically. So I try to move a lot, counter them, basically. And um, I did that and it worked. Well, <laughs> I won against Michael. Simple as that. There he is, Mr. Michael Lele. How's it going? Good. You've played some games already? Yeah, I did, and I lost a lot of them. They were actually pretty good, like, I'm shocked. They actually wrecked me, some guys. Yeah, there was one guy that you mentioned to me as I came into the room, a guy that you were beating 4-0, yep. and then he came back and just destroyed you. What I, happened there? I, I don't know. I couldn't do anything. I was like, okay, let's go, new round, let's go, fo new focus, you know? And I was like, <laughs> you know? I didn't have a chance. He told me after, are you the guy who wrecked me and stuff? Yeah, I was kind of happy after that.
me a bit about what you're looking for. I'm going to look for uh, people that uh, that's that good people. Uh, I mean, they need to be funny. They need to be not feel awkward. What can you bring to the team outside of the game? I'm always like, we can be friends outside of the game, not only inside it, because you can put the five most best players in the world in one team and they probably choke everyone because they're not friends. That's why teams like NIP and stuff like that, back in the days, they're like all friends and they know every like movement, everything they do. And that's why if I connect in on a personal level with the players, it's easier to read their movements and stuff, how they play. What is your biggest weakness? Probably being nervous, I usually get cold hands because of that and um, I lose confidence when I get cold hands and yeah, it kind of just crashes or whatever. Sometimes uh, it's really hard for me uh, to cooperate with a team. I mean, of course I listen to captain and uh, listen to my other teammates, but sometimes I Mm, prefer to make my own decisions, not uh, that the uh, captain did. And you know, it's 50 50. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes captain is right. You're one and two. You're an A side, that's two. You, you need to plant the bomb. You have 10 seconds, you don't know what, you are, what are you're doing. Do I have smokes, equipment, or what? Yeah, I have? yeah, you have a smoke and a flash. I'd probably smoke the side and get the bomb down and then flash myself out. That's kind of unexpected. That's how I think. I can do something unexpected and hopefully just get like one pick and then just keep hiding and try and get information somehow. We choose five first players now. They're gonna play some retake. And I think this is the more fair, uh, fair way to actually prove what they're capable of. So it's gonna be a, like a real, real game situation, you know? And that's much better than just one on one aim at. You're not only looking for the gameplay they have. You need to be able to talk to everyone, you need to be able to communicate with your team when you're playing, and that's super important. If you don't have that, you will never succeed in the game. This guy is playing up and he's moving. I don't like that he's moving. Yeah, it's a bit antsy, right? Maybe a bit nervous. Yeah. Because when you're playing up, you need to stand still. This is very hard. <laughs> Paula. You've got to do it. Can you, you help me? Can you help me? Don't interrupt the show. The first one goes out to you. The second one goes out to you. You. Yes. Okay. One goes out to you. One left. Som sagt, allihopa tar inte det personligt. Jag måste välja ut några. Eh, sista går till Lodzi. <laughs> Michael, you've rounded it down to eight people. We are exhausted. Do you want to run through what's just happened? Basically, I had to choose eight people out of 20. It was very tough, very touching. Some of the guys were very emotional. Uh, I got a very emotional as well because uh, it's never fun to choose between 20 players to pick eight players. But yeah, I had to do it. I showed not best my performance. I showed, I think, my worst performance. Uh, I could do it much more better. I know myself, but it's too late, you know. And I didn't, uh, I, I could not take uh, this in me, so I just let the emotions go. So it happens, you know, it happens. Eight down to four. We have the first group behind us. What's going through your mind? I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous right now because I need to. I need to cut them to all, like from eight to four. So that's going to be like very emotional. But I mean, it's okay. I, I need to do it. I need to do it for for the team and everything. So. Okay. So basically, they're going to play two on two on a map called the Aztec. Oh. Very nice there. Really nice peak, two kills. The first uh, 
that player I'm gonna I'm gonna announce uh, to the team will be the guy uh, that totally wrecked me on 101. Oh, it's Lucas. And to the second one, and it's CSR. Benjamin. To the last player I'm gonna pick today, Robin. It's the end of the first part of this journey. Final thoughts? I'm excited, I'm confident, I'm looking forward to play with these guys. Wicked, well I will see you in the next stage of the tournament, the team building stage. Until then bro, good to see you.